And more breaking news now. Harold Hanthorn was just found guilty of murder for pushing his wife, Tony, off a cliff into her death in Rocky Mountain National Park. Now, a federal jury came back with a verdict in really a matter of hours. They just got the case on Friday afternoon. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is live outside the federal courthouse in Denver. Mark, Tony's family tells you they are pleased with this verdict. Tony Henthorne's family feels lives will be saved now that Harold Henthorne is off the streets. Once the verdict was read, an emotional exchange between Tony Henthorne's mom and a juror. Take a listen as what was said after the two hugged. Take a listen. I appreciated it very much. And she just said, as one mom to another, I feel your pain. The family relieved, satisfied as they left court. This was a bit of a tricky case because there wasn't a witness. No one had a picture or captured an image of Harold Henthorne pushing Tony off that cliff in the Rocky Mountain National Park on their anniversary, their 12th anniversary. But there was lots of little pieces of evidence that added up from the diamond missing from her wedding ring to an X found on a map in Harold Henthorne's car after the crime. Sentencing on December 8th, the prosecutors and the family certainly pushing for life in prison. We're live at federal court tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News. Thank you, Mark. And Henthorne's first wife, Sandra Lynn, she died in a freak tire changing accident in 1995, 17 years before Tony's death. And evidence from her death investigation was used in court. But Henthorne hasn't been officially charged in her death. It was only after this case that the Douglas County Sheriff's Office reopened an investigation into Sandra's death. And if they decide to move forward, Henthorne would then be tried in that case as well.